What's up everybody, welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today we're gonna to talk about this fountain pen. This is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Grande Copper uh, from 2019. <clears throat> but before we get into this, I wanna explain two things. One, why am I filming in my kitchen? Well, it's because the back door is open, uh, Parker is hunting birds and squirrels and just going bananas, uh, but there is a neighborhood cat that wanders around that if that cat ends up in my backyard, Parker will chew her way through the screen to murder that cat. So um, I cannot have that door open without supervision. And yes, there's a screen so she can't get outside, but it's happened before. <laughs> and two, ignore the giant Quantos on my chin. Uh, my face does not enjoy being stuck uh, onto a mask for 10 hours a day you know, six days a week. So yeah, good stuff. All right, let's get into this pen. <laughs> this pen uh, is no longer available to purchase, this finish, uh, but the pen itself is. Um, slight, slight differences between them. You'll see some of the differences uh, when I compare another Memento Zero Grande that I have, which is actually the primary manipulation four, uh, which you've actually seen the unboxing for already. So, hey. <laughs> um, but this pen uh, I purchased off of someone from Australia. Uh, thanks Instagram for, for hooking that one up um, because it's no longer available. But as you all know, if you've watched me for quite some time, I very much enjoy uh, warm brown tones. Uh, so when I saw this finish, I had to have it. Um, and thankfully I was able to find one. Um, unfortunately, when it arrived, the nib was not in the greatest shape. Um, it had actually been bent up off of the uh, feed, so it probably was a heavy hand, um, and the tines were definitely misaligned. Um, so chances are it was writing a little on the dry side, um, and the person was just trying to like, press harder uh, to get it to be a little bit more wet, um, and then kind of damage the nib in the process. But uh, Salmon from Toronto Pen Company uh, is my main hookup <laughs> and he tuned and fixed the nib up for me so it writes beautifully now um, which you will see very very soon. So <sighs> this is like I said the Leonardo Officina Italiana Grande uh, Copper Finish. It is a beautifully warm rich brown, red, dark brown flecked material, um, which depending on the light that you have it in, shines beautifully. Um, and I like it quite a bit. Uh, so both ends here are conical, but it comes to a point. Um, it's a fairly decently sharp point. Obviously it's not gonna cut you, um, but it is a point. <laughs> uh, the clip, in rhodium finish here, uh, narrows down towards the ball. That used to be something different in the non-grande versions, but has since changed now to be almost all of them um, for 2021. Uh, it has the three uh, rings here, uh, and then it has a just quickly, uh, pretty sharp step down here. This is also changed. Um, so the 2019 versions have this sharp step down here, uh, whereas the new ones have um, a tapered finish. So it's not like so sharp and sudden. Uh, then you have a silver ring where the body is, the body itself, which tapers down to another um, conical but pointy piece. Uh, and then it reveals the blind cap uh, where you can access the piston if you wish. Uh, have I used this part? Yes. Um, to prime the feed a couple times I will do it, um, but I don't like to fill using that. I prefer just to take off the whole body. Uh, it is a screw cap. It takes a hair over one turn uh, to get it out or to take the cap off. The grip section, there's a pretty uh, significant step down over this ring here, uh, but I mean, the grip section is large, so it's like just the very, very back of my thumb that rests on it, uh, but that's the meaty, fleshy part of your thumb, so it sits quite nicely. The threads uh, are not sharp at all. In fact, you can barely feel them, and then you have this sort of taper down 
to the uh, main portion of the grip section. And this ring here, this silver trim ring does actually flare up just a little bit to stop you from sliding fully. Um, I like the, the grip section. I hold my pens pretty close to the nib. Uh, so I like the fact that it's a little slimmer. Some people like to hold it a little farther back, um, which then gives you a larger width. Um, so it's kind of, you know, player, player chooses their own deal. <laughs> Uh, and then you come to the nib and feed. So I have a fine, this is a steel nib uh, with an ebonite feed, uh, which is very nice. I like the very thin profile. Um, it gives me like Omos vibes, uh, which I like quite a bit. The body screws off and reveals the captured converter. You cannot take this off. If you take this off, you break the pen. <laughs> So don't do it. <laughs> uh, that has, again, since changed. Um, this is the 2019 version. Uh, there are other ones that are full pistons, so they're completely encapsulated. Uh, in the non-grande versions, you can take the converter out, um, but they are threaded converters like Monteverde, which I quite like. Um, so you cannot take that off. Um, and it is branded on the converter. Threads feel very nice. Something else that has changed is that the threading here uh, is resin, um, but in the 2021 versions, I don't own any, but I have seen other reviews and from what I've read, it's now metal. Pen fits very nicely in my hand. Uh, it's heavy, but it's not extraordinarily heavy. The like a Homo sapiens uh, Bronze Age is heavier. The, um, uh, oh shoot, I'm forgetting the name of it now. It's not super heavy. It is weighted for sure, um, but it's not super duper heavy. You can post it, but I do not because it comes very back weighted for me, mostly because uh, where it posts right here uh, is, is beyond where it rests on my hand. So it becomes back weighted there. Um, but I know people who do post it because they have large hands. Um, the non grande version admittedly is slightly more comfortable uh, for me for long writing sessions, um, but I do quite enjoy it. Um, I like this pen quite a bit, um, like quite a bit. It does irritate me a little bit that I wish, just like the other ones, um, if you've watched my two reviews of the non-grande versions, um, I like to align the inscription here which you can't see in this frame, but you'll see in the close-up, or you probably already have. Um, I like to align that with the feed. It's just a thing I like to do, uh, and it is not easily done. Um, the only thing I wish that Leonardo would do is thread it in a way that would, no matter how you screw it on or off, it automatically aligns. Some people don't like to because they don't wanna see it. I get it, but that's me <laughs> and that's my opinion and that's why you're watching this video. <laughs> so let's start to write with this bad boy because ooh, I love it. And also the ink that I have in here. Yes, yes. All right, the obligatory line. Once again, a fine steel nib. The ink is the wonderful S-B-R-E Brown. I love it very much so. I finally was able to get my hands on a bottle uh, and I like it a lot. Uh, so keep in mind, this pen was tuned, uh, like I said in the review. Uh, it was a little bit damaged when I received it, um, so I did have it tuned to my liking, which does mean uh, that it is beautifully wet. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, for those of you who've been watching for quite some time, you know that I like really wet pens. So if I'm ever uh, having a pen tuned, I will choose to have it made wet. Uh, so out of the box, it would be a little bit drier than what you see here. Reverse writing. You definitely can, and it's not actually super scratchy. Um, just becomes a 
finer line, kind of like an extra fine. Um, since this is being been tuned, uh, I can't really speak to hard starts, skipping or anything like that because I haven't experienced that. Um, I did not get a chance to use this pen fresh out of the box. So I, I can't speak to that, but I will say that, uh, Salmon at the Toronto Pen Company did a fabulous job of tuning this. Uh, so much so that it is one of my favorite writers. Um, so do I recommend this pen? Well, duh. <laughs> uh, even if it was a little bit drier, I would. Like I said, you can't get this finish anymore, um, but you still can get loads of variations uh, of the grande size. Um, like I said before, I do slightly prefer the um, regular Memento Zero over the grande for long writing sessions, um, but I still find this pen pretty, pretty comfortable. Um, so thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. Uh, do hit the like button if you like the video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. Guys, as always, I really, really do appreciate you watching and supporting my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.